Hey, what's up you guys? I'm out here at Papago Golf Course, back home. So excited to be filming for you today. So today I'm just gonna give you a quick chipping lesson because I know you are all itching for it. So let's go on out to the course and get started. Okay, so for today's chipping lesson, I'm going to address the number one most frequently asked question with me with chipping, which is, which club do you chip with? It's a great question. I carry three different wedges, a 58, a 54, and a 50 degree loft. Chipping is all about feel and painting out the vision that you have in your head for each shot. So. There is not one single way to hit each chip shot. It's whatever is going to work best for you. So visualize your shot and then paint it out, be an artist, and draw your picture. Okay, so for this shot right here, I know that everything breaks away from me. So I'm going to go up here and my first thought is going to be, where I want this ball to land. So I know that everything breaks down towards the water. It's gonna be really quick. The grain all goes this way. So I'm only trying to land it somewhere right in here and let the natural terrain take the ball the rest of the way. So I'm going to do that with my 50, uh, my 54 degree. And I'm gonna let the loft do its job. I'm gonna play it in the front of my, my stance and hit it just kind of like a little a little baby putt almost in a way that is not the only way you can play this shot there are so many other ways you can play this shot you can run it you just land it barely in the uh, fridge right here or you could go get it high it's really whatever works best for you but let's see how this works out for me All right, so you can see that I landed that ball a lot shorter than I initially thought, but that worked out great. If I would have landed it exactly where I wanted to land it in the beginning, that ball would have gone past the pin three or four feet. So sometimes even when I set up to the ball, I start to realize, all right, actually I'm kind of visualizing something different for myself here, and then I switch it up a little bit based on what I feel. I'm such a feel player and that's just how what works best for me. Oh. Stubbed that one a little. Okay, so as you can see, all three of those shots, pretty good shots for this kind of tougher chip shot, downhill chip shot. I'd be pretty happy with all of these in a tournament, maybe not this one as much, but that's how I wanted to play this shot. There's so many other ways. You could even putt that shot from where I was if that's what you feel most comfortable with. All right, so for this shot, I switched up the angle a little bit. I don't have a lot of room to run this ball out anymore. I have to land it and stop it. So for me, I already know I want to get the ball a little bit higher. I need to be softer. In tournament mode, I get a little more aggressive. So I have to kind of lean towards a safer club. So for those reasons, I'm going to hit my 58. It's going to get a little bit higher. It's going to have more spin on it and land softer and has more room for air on a shot that I can't let release too much. That is not true for every shot with a 58. Your 58 is not always going to be the safer shot. But for this shot, this is the safer shot for me. So what I'm going to do on this shot, I'm gonna play it front of my stance again, open the club face a little bit and keep my hands forward. That way I'm not swooping at the ball at all because if I do that, I could jam into the ground or even top it. You want to just keep those hands forward, keep the angle the same, um, but have that club face open. So let's see how it goes. Notice how I keep that angle the whole time. 
And I'm just gonna try and land this kind of to the left of the pin because I know everything's gonna break down towards the water over there. So not too bad, landed that a little bit short. I just caught the collar just a tad. And that's why it didn't release as much. Um, another way you could play this shot is landing it in the collar, playing it lower and hitting more of even like a pitching wedge or a nine iron. Some people I know like to chip with a seven iron. Caught that collar again. Let's try one more time. There we go. That's the shot I visualized. Now, as you can see with that shot, it took me three shots to hit the perfect shot that I wanted. So I make mistakes even as a pro and I can tell myself okay, maybe that wasn't the smartest shot for me or the safest shot for me. Maybe I do need to run it out. So another idea, just like I said before, take a nine iron or an eight iron or seven iron and play a bump and run. Put the ball at the back of your stance off your back foot, push those hands forward and hit it just like a putt and just putt it with a nine iron or eight iron or seven iron. So let's go up there, collect those balls and try it with one of those clubs instead. So I just grabbed my nine iron. We're gonna try this again, try a different shot. I'm not perfect, I make mistakes. So we're gonna see if maybe this is the better club for this shot. But again, it's whatever you feel most comfortable with. So if this is a shot you know that's not in your bag, you need to work on it, don't play this shot. Don't try and make up a shot when you're out on the course that you've never tried before. Practice these shots when you are on the practice green or on the driving range. Like I said, I'm gonna have this club back of my stance, push my hands forward a little, and I'm going to hit it just like a putt. Make sure I keep those that angle with my hands forward the whole time. I'm gonna land it in the fringe first and just let it release. Pretty hot on that first one. You can tell this isn't a shot that I practice a whole lot. All right, that one's a lot better. Closer to my spot. Almost got it. For those shots, maybe my nine iron's not my club. This is a really tough chip. I, that's a short-sighted chip that I would have left myself with here. Uh, but that's just something that you kind of have to feel out, figure out for yourself, and what shot you like to play the most. Okay, so the last shot of the day because we are running out of daylight out here. I'm playing a very long chip shot here. I have a lot of room to roll the ball out. So because of that, I know that I wanna get the ball on the ground and let it roll. But in order to do that, I need enough club. So that is when I pull out my 50 degree wedge, play it back in the stance, push those hands forward to de-loft it even more, keep the ball low and let it run. So this shot is all about knowing what spot you want to land the ball. You have to visualize and pick your spot in order for this shot to work. So I already know everything breaks down towards the water. There's a little hump in the middle. So I'm gonna try and carry this just in front of that hump so that I can get it over there and then let it roll out. Back of my stance, hands push forward. little too much speed there but not too bad this is another shot where you could if you feel comfortable you can play that seven iron there 
finish the shot. Woo! All right, that's like a foot away. Turn, turn. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so obviously I already know that's the right shot for me here. I think that would be the right shot for you too. You just want to play something that's going to stay on the ground, roll out, that you feel comfortable with. These shots I really like. I love these shots. Let's go get them. All right, are you serious with this? So I had those two real close. Almost had one. Maybe next time. So that's all I have for you guys this week. I hope this little tripping lesson helps you. Remember, it is not about picking the perfect club. It is just about being confident in the shot that you're choosing and picking what is most comfortable to you. Until next week, thanks you guys.